Welcome to today's Nettle Goddard Conversation Mind Map, titled, You Lovingly Imagine Them, They Lovingly Imagine You. I'm glad you've joined me for this discussion. We'll explore the phenomena of people showing up and relating in the same way we imagine. Lately, I've had many conversations with people who have also noticed this phenomenon. As Neville states, consciousness is the one and only reality and understanding this truth sets us free. Consciousness, although appearing as separate objects and individuals, is not truly divided at its essence. Deep meditation reveals that there is only one I, one consciousness. There is no real separation or gap in consciousness. This understanding becomes evident when we observe how people show up in our lives based on how we imagine ourselves to be. Neville emphasizes that the feeling of I am is the awareness of permanent existence at the core of consciousness. We may forget who, where, or what we are, but we cannot forget that we exist. This feeling of permanent awareness is the key to understanding our true essence. It goes beyond concepts, beliefs, and appearances. As awareness, we are the lovers of our experiences, whether they be blueberries or strawberries. Our conditioned consciousness shapes the world and all that is within it. We condition our consciousness to enjoy a wide array of life experiences. If we didn't have these experiences, nothing would appear to exist. Imagination plays a crucial role in this process as we mentally feel ourselves into a chosen state to give form to our desires. To cultivate the faculty of seeing the invisible, we must disentangle our minds from the evidence of the senses and focus on an invisible state in our imagination, feeling and sensing it as real. Concentrated thought in a particular direction shuts out other sensations and allows us to see the invisible. We must practice this until it becomes natural and childlike. Entering the state where others show up in alignment with our imagination involves accepting that reality goes beyond conflicting appearances. Desiring a state is already having it, and if it doesn't appear as desired, we can reimagine it until it feels real. This process doesn't require force or trying to change the world. It's about letting the unseen power take care of everything for us. We can apply this understanding not only to people, but also to material objects like cars and houses. It's not about the objects themselves, but how we believe ourselves to be in relation to them. By focusing on the desired state and feeling it real, we shape our experiences with those objects. Imagination is the pearl of great price. It is through imagination that we create our reality. We have the power to mold the world by consciously applying imagination. Easy does it, no rush or stress. Practice makes us better at it, and we can release limiting beliefs as we use our imagination lovingly. As we apply this information, we become more nimble, fluid, and purified in our mental processes. Pure of heart, as Neville refers to, means releasing identification with false beliefs. It's normal to release emotions and allow them to flow. Developing the ability to suggest to ourselves and accepting those suggestions leads to automatic and ideal manifestations. It's important to remember that this has nothing to do with appearances. We change ourselves inside and others reflect that change. We allow the unseen power within us to do the work, eliminating unnecessary suffering. By accepting that we already are all that we desire to be, we can go to the end and experience our desired state. To conclude, let's reinforce these ideas with an auto-suggestion. Love is who I truly am, unconditional in my essence. I represent this love everywhere I go, and people show up to mirror the love within me. As I remain in my ideal state of consciousness, Everything and everyone aligns with the love that emanates from me. I lovingly imagine them in their best and highest selves, and they lovingly imagine me in mine. Our interactions are filled with harmony, understanding, and mutual respect. 
In this state of love and imagination, I effortlessly attract meaningful connections and relationships into my life. I recognize that the outer world is a reflection of my inner state, and I take responsibility for my thoughts, emotions, and beliefs. I consciously choose to nurture loving and empowering thoughts about myself and others. As I continue to deepen my understanding and practice of conscious creation, I find that my experiences become more vibrant and fulfilling. I let go of any limitations or doubts that may arise, knowing that they are merely illusions of the past. Instead, I focus my attention on the infinite possibilities that exist in the realm of imagination. I understand that the process of manifestation is not about controlling or manipulating others but about embodying the qualities and states of being that I desire to experience. I become a living embodiment of love, joy, abundance, and all the qualities that align with my true essence. As I radiate these qualities, others are naturally drawn to me and reflect them back to me. I embrace the power of forgiveness and compassion, knowing that they are catalysts for transformation and healing. I release any judgments or grievances I may hold towards myself or others, and I choose to see the inherent goodness and potential in everyone I encounter. In this lovingly imagined reality, there is no need for competition, comparison, or scarcity. I recognize that there is more than enough love, success, and abundance for everyone. I celebrate the achievements and happiness of others, knowing that their joy adds to the collective consciousness of love and fulfillment. I trust in the divine timing of the universe and surrender to the flow of life. I let go of the need to control or force outcomes, and instead, I allow life to unfold naturally and beautifully. I know that when I align myself with the highest and most loving vision of myself, the perfect circumstances and opportunities effortlessly align with me. I am grateful for the power of imagination and the profound impact it has on my reality. I continue to nurture and cultivate my imaginative faculties, knowing that they are the gateway to infinite possibilities. I lovingly imagine a world filled with harmony, love, and unity, and I play my part in co-creating this reality. With each passing day, I deepen my understanding of the interconnectedness of all beings and the power of love to transform lives. I am a beacon of love, and my loving imagination creates ripples of positive change in the world. In the realm of loving imagination, the boundaries of time and space dissolve, and we connect with the deepest essence of each other's souls. We communicate through a language beyond words, a language of pure love and understanding. As we continue to embrace the power of loving imagination, we transcend the limitations of the physical world and tap into the infinite realm of possibilities. We co-create a reality where dreams manifest effortlessly, where hearts are healed, and where love becomes the guiding force in every aspect of our lives. Let us remember that in the realm of loving imagination, there is no separation or division. We are all interconnected, and our collective loving intentions have the power to bring about profound change in ourselves and in the world around us. So with an open heart and a vivid imagination, let us embark on this journey of co-creation, where love reigns supreme and the beauty of our shared visions becomes a living reality. Together, let us lovingly imagine a world that is filled with peace, compassion, and unity. In this lovingly imagined world, we recognize our inherent power as creators, and we use it wisely and responsibly. We honor the sanctity of life, and our actions reflect the deep love and respect we have for ourselves, each other, and the planet we call home. May our loving imaginations continue to shape a future that is filled with endless possibilities and boundless love. And may we always remember that the power to transform lies within us as we lovingly imagine and create a world that mirrors the beauty of our souls. With love and gratitude, let us embrace the magic of loving imagination 
and step into a reality that is filled with infinite love, joy, and abundance. And so it is. As we conclude this Neville Goddard conversation mind map on you lovingly imagine them, they lovingly imagine you. I invite you to take a moment to reflect on these ideas and integrate them into your own life. Embrace the power of your imagination and consciously choose to create a reality filled with love, joy, and fulfillment. Know that as you lovingly imagine others, they too are lovingly imagining you.